my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Lita, I just got recruited to live in the amp house. What house? The amp house. It's where they all live together on top of the hills and they create incredible content and now they invited me to be a part of it. Oh. This week, I want to talk about a movie that I just fell into, kind of. Like, I was watching another movie, and then this shit just rolled on in. And it's called The Amp House Massacre. Basically, this is about a group of influencers who are getting picked off one by one. This movie starts off with Mario Stilwell. My name is Mario Stilwell, but you already know that. Two years ago, I did the unthinkable and became the biggest YouTube influencer in the world. He's the top dog TikToker, Facebooker, Instagrammer, whatever social media, he has millions on all of them. And he's just popping everywhere. He's like a millionaire now. And he's like, I wanna share the wealth. So what he does is he buys a mansion. He invites all the biggest influencers to live at this mansion to do content. So you guys can have the most epic smorgasbord of Content. Well, he reaches out to all these people. They all become great friends. They move into this house and they have lavish parties. They do great little videos, little pranks. They do everything. Mind you, this is all being recorded based on their YouTubes or TikToks. This is an in-world camera film, I will say. Low-key hybrid mostly. A lot of this movie is filmed on their phones and or there's a camera guy running around. Uh, the cameras, they don't stop recording. What? Like ever. <laughs> okay. But this camera's within the house, so some of it's kind of confusing. So if y'all watch that, I want y'all to help me out because it just had like a rec sign at the top just saying, oh, this is being recorded, but where are these cameras? It's weird. They're all partying, having a great time. So Mario's hanging out with each of the main influencers at the beginning, like, oh, he's drinking with this girl or he's taking like pills with this person and he finds this other girl and like she, he like makes out with her and takes a pill from her tongue to him. He's like, oh, let me get some. And she's like, oh, she puts it there. It's kind of hot. All these people are hot. Some of these people are TikTokers and influencers. I looked up a lot of the actors. A lot of them have millions, like 4.5, 7.8, 23.5 million subs like on Instagram. One guy, he's from Nope, uh, Brandon Pereira. I love him. Aliens exist, they're right here, right next to me. <laughs> he's in Nope and he's in Twisters. And he's also in this one. He plays one like the little jockey, like party dudes. I'm sorry guys. Okay, I mean, you guys are like the only family I got. Whatever. Mario still was partying it up. He overdoses and dies. Everyone's like, what the hell happened? So then he dies and the whole internet went nuts. Everyone's like, oh no, we just love watching his videos. What's gonna, what are we gonna watch now? A year goes by and all the people come back to the mansion. They're all hanging out and there's a new up and coming girl. She's like a depressed and TikToker person. Like she puts up, I'm just so cute. I'm so sad. Depressed get very anxious. You know, stuff like that. Or she'll record her grandma like, oh, grandmama. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Lita, I just got recruited to live in the amp house. What house? The amp house. It's where they all live together on top of the hills and they create incredible content and now they invited me to be a part of it. Oh. <laughs> And people are loving it. They're like eating up what she's giving. So they're like, we should reach out to her. We need to add another person to the house. So all this group people get all these shitty people in this house too, by the way. They bring her in and she's just so excited. She records herself. Look at this face. They're all hanging out, telling her, giving her the tour. Like Brandon Pereira's character, he's like, oh, I can learn a lot about you by the pizza that you like. So the pizza that she picks is, it's so weird. She wants avocado and pineapple pizza. What pizza are you choosing? Um, I usually go for the avocado and pineapple. Bitch, what kind of Becky shit is this? Weird. I see why you depressed. You like avocado and pineapple pizza. Ugh, I was so weirded out by that, but that's what she ordered. What I like about this movie, it's like a whodunit. It's a slasher and you got to guess the killer. And I wasn't really guessing because all these people were stupid. They're all very attractive people. And to see them get cut the fuck up because they're doing dumbass shit was very exciting for me. So I was rooting for the motherfucking killer. So the killer's kind of cool. So the killer starts popping up, lights go out, power goes out, and they get a DM saying, hey, 
hey, y'all can't stop recording. And he gives them challenges. And if you stop recording, bitch, you gonna die. And I love these kind of movies. This movie's fucking fun. They all have to record everything. So like the first challenge, I'll just talk about this one. They have to go take a picture of their most prized possession and post it to their socials. Whoever gets the most likes in a certain amount of time, they win, they live, but the least amount of likes dies. And girl, they all go look for random shit. And then whoever is the least amount, their video gets uploaded. Cause mind you, in the amp house, everything is recorded. So they all have something bad recorded about them. So like all their bad videos are gonna get posted to their socials. So all their fans are seeing this. Girl, they do some f***ed up shit. I'm not gonna say everything, but they do some f***ed up shit. And now the world's gonna see it. And then the slasher comes and starts picking them off one by one. I love how the, the filter mask changes. Like it'll be a dollar sign like the cover. It'll be like a love sign or a broken heart because there's this couple, the bitch from uh, the Sharknado movies. Um, so I know you have to get in to watch the movie, but what is the animal that you are most scared of other than sharks? Oh, um, I would say like a tiger or okay. something. Cassie Scribo, I think is her name. S-C-H whatever. So she's sleeping with the jockey obnoxious guy. I can't stand him, by the way. He makes it way too far for me. But then she's secretly sleeping with the black dude. They got all the tokens in this. So they all start dying. Once the reveal gets there, I kind of guess Oh, I spoiled it. You cut that, Russ. Anyway, so, <laughs> but once it gets to that third act, some of it was just like one honky tonk. And then when it ends, like a person, oh, I shouldn't say that. There's something that happens at the end of the movie that I was like, oh, why did you show that? It's like, it's, okay, do y'all want a sequel? Do you need a sequel? Does this need to even go further than what y'all just did? I like this movie, Amp House Massacre, In World Camera. Check it out. It's really fun. It's very much like Chad Gets the Axe kind of mixed with and Scream. Amp House Massacre hits Blu-ray in January of 2025, but it is on Tubi, Amazon Prime, and wherever you stream your local movies. So check it out. Bye.